Over many years of designing air guns, shotguns and firearms, one of the most frustrating questions that I see being debated on air gun forums in regards to PCP air rifles is not only what is the breathe hole in the regulator and your air reservoir for, but now the hole is in the air reservoir, is the reservoir likely to explode? Uh, this question often comes about when people have sent their air gun away to either Dave Wellham at Air Masters 88, uh, Ben Taylor at BTAS, uh, Tenshi, myself or other people fitting regulators to air rifles uh, only to get home, remove their gun from the stock and find this little hole. This then becomes a bit of a debating point as to how dangerous this is and is the gun going to explode at any minute because this hole has been installed. Uh, I would like to point out from the start that if you're very keen on air guns and have a good knowledge of many makes and models you'll know that a large range of air rifles have holes quite large, some of them up to 10 millimeters, within their pressure reservoirs for the installation of pressure gauges with 8th BSP or NPT threads, stock fastenings and other pieces of ancillary equipment. Here we have an example of one that I made earlier. To answer this question, uh, which I've answered today because I was asked it during the week, I received an email off a gentleman asking if a hole in the cylinder is safe. We have taken a typical PCP air reservoir tube. This is the sort of tube that would be found on an air arms uh, or a brocock, a brocock enigma that is. It is steel and it is made from seamless boiler and pressure tube to BS standard BS3059. The outside diameter of the tube is an inch and a quarter or approximately 31. 75 millimeters from new and the gauge which is the, the the wall thickness is 14 gauge which is around the two millimeter mark so here we have the cylinder and on these cylinders they're designed so that the end flange is considerably thinner than the actual wall thickness along the main tube and it is reduced down to roughly one millimeter to 1.15 millimeters and this is for a specific reason that when you overfill the cylinder and when I mean overfill I mean grossly overfill then the end of the cylinder as you can hopefully see on this if I hold it up closer becomes flared as you can see and this is so that the o-ring on the end of the air reservoir will pop out and let the air out without any form of cat catastrophic failure taking place. Now the pressures that we're talking about on this model that we fitted on a test assembly and pumped up, the end of this flared out and released the o-ring at 4800 psi, that's 330 bar. Uh, and that has been reduced down to half the normal tube thickness. If you go on the internet and you research this tube, one and a quarter inch by 14 gauge boiler to pressure boiler tube to BS3059, you'll find that the actual burst pressure of the steel tube itself at main, at the main body thickness is in excess of 20,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, the chances of there being a catastrophic failure of any sort because you've installed the small breathe hole, I would say, unless there is some other major fault with the material or you yourself have manufactured a cylinder out of a non-seamless boiler tube material, is absolutely zero. There has been a number of air guns explode. Uh, Two of those were because the tube that was used was not seamless. It was a tube that was made from a rolled flat sheet that's rolled around into a circle and then got a weld along it. You'll probably spot this in tables and chairs and other things around your house. And it is not designed for a pressure vessel. Uh, 
and also people filling their air guns with such uh, as oxygen or oxygen mixed gases and then this mixes with any uh, lubricant that might be in the gun and can cause a catastrophic and fatal explosion but as regards to drilling a 1.5 millimeter to 3 millimeter breathe hole for regulator pitching purposes I've never known any issue anywhere in the world regarding this uh, obviously it is important that when you install the regulator that you don't have the breathe hole uh, over the o-ring because this will cause a, a leak uh, so it is best to keep it within a, a range of a millimetre or two of the o-ring channel but apart from that you know apart from a, a leak if you've not fitted it correctly or you've nicked an o-ring whilst assembling it there should be no problems with health and safety whatsoever else all the people who fit regulators and manufacture air rifles would not be issuing them to you.